and save your eyes. Used by Galileo himself. All of these will allow you to watch the partial solar eclipse and save your eyes. The most amazing thing was when I was in Turkey in 2006 and I saw a total solar eclipse live and in person. I am just getting chills, literally <laughs> and figuratively, about yes. the excitement of this amazing spectacle. As an astronomer, I felt lucky enough to be witnessing the fact that we are part of a moving solar system in which you have the Earth, Sun and Moon interacting together. As a person, I felt very moved when I saw totality in the middle of the day. Totality is when the moon covers completely the sun. And so all the light that we normally see during the day from the photosphere of the sun completely disappears. And the only thing that, that you are left seeing is a dark sun completely blackened. And then on the outside of the sun, the corona is visible. So we're gonna show you what happens to create totality, to create this darkness in the middle of the day on the Earth's surface as a result of a total solar eclipse. So basically I have a fictitious sun behind me, which is a light source, pretending that, that it's the sun, and we have the Earth and we have the moon. So the moon actually travels in front of the Earth covering the sun, and that's what causes the total solar eclipse. Did you see that shadow, Lily? I did. There it is. So basically, that shadow creates what is called a path of totality, which would be a strip of darkness. This is not exactly to scale, but it is helpful to see. It's very simple. The shadow of the moon is cast upon the surface of the Earth. The moon is indeed much smaller than the sun. 400 of these little moons will actually cover the diameter of the sun, but the moon is also 400 times closer to us, and that is what creates the total solar eclipse, which is an amazing cosmic coincidence. So to illustrate what I'm talking about, I'm going to use my thumb, which is much smaller than your head, to try and cover it. So if I try to cover it here, I close one eye, hmm, you're still very visible. But if I bring my thumb very close to my eye, eventually your entire face is actually covered. And that is what's happening. And you can try this at home. Do that with different objects and different distances using your thumb and closing one eye, and you'll be able to understand why the moon which is 400 times smaller than the sun, but is 400 times closer to us, can actually cause the sun to be obscured in a total solar eclipse. It's a month. How come we don't have an eclipse every month? The orbit of the moon around the Earth is actually slanted. So most of the time, the moon will actually travel above the plane of the Earth-Sun line and not cause an eclipse. We are not going to have a total solar eclipse forever. And that is because the moon is actually receding from the Earth. The distance is actually increasing due to tidal forces. And so, of course, as the moon recedes from the Earth, it covers a little bit less and less of the solar disk during an eclipse. But this will happen 